Shetler ties the ball game. Brian Shetler. Shetler with eight. And it's an 8-4 run by Park City. And Logan Brown wants a timeout. Tied at 18 in Logan. reasons I really enjoy banking at Lewiston State Bank is because I enjoy the friendly service. They know me by name, they know who I am, and they know what my business is, and that is very important to me. I've been banking at Lewiston State Bank for about nine years, and we love it. They know who I am. We are proud to have been serving our customers for over 100 years with personalized, friendly service. Please come in and meet your new friends at Lewiston State Bank. We're all tied up at 18. Logan owned a 14-10 lead at the end of the first period. And they pushed the lead out to as many as 10 points. Now we're tied up. Kirby Olsen back in playing with two fouls. Nyman, nice little dish underneath. And Cannon fouled hard. Looks like John O'Shetler may pick up the foul. Well, they give it to Brian Shetler. That's Devin two on Brian Shetler. Shetler leading all scores with eight points. Cannon at the line, he's scoreless. He stays scoreless. Checking in for Park City, number four, Jordan Ruda. Ruda replaces Shetler. Jordan Ruda, the 6'4 junior. There's a good look at Cannon. Six foot three senior. Second one rims out. And New and Schwander with the board. Logan two for four from the line. Eight for eight for Park City. Park City with a chance to take the lead. Buford on Olsen. Rims around and out. Did everything but tickle the twine. Here come the grips. Larson, three ball. Got it. So the sophomore on the board. And he gives the lead back to the Grizzlies at 21-18. Vincent out front. As they bring Noon, Schwander, and Ruta high post. And then cut those guards underneath. Buford loses the ball. Benyon comes up with it. Nyman the other way. Olsen, three, no. Benyon tips, but it goes to Buford. Shetler all the way in, bothered by Benyon, and this one out of bounds off the Miners. I don't know if Benyon got a piece of that or not, but he definitely bothered the layup attempt by John O'Shetler. Take a look, see if we can see if he got a piece of it. I don't know if he did, but he definitely bothered the shot. Shetler hasn't scored from the field. He's been very aggressive, but his shot just hasn't been there tonight. At least in this first half. Three and a half to play in the first half. Logan leading by three, 21-18. Nyman double, works his way out of it. Eight foot jumper, around and out. Shetler on the boards. Quickly ahead to Buford, steps around Kirby Olsen and scores. Britton Buford. Buford with four. And it's a one-point Logan lead. Down low, Kirby Olsen tries to muscle his way into the paint, and he's fouled. This has been a physical ball game. Logan with six fouls, three for Park City. They've let him play the last couple of minutes. That foul's on number four, Jordan Ruda. Kirby Olsen with the line. Take a look. They say Olsen is shooting. Kirby steps to the line with seven points. And now he has eight. Checking in for Park City, Ryan Reimer. Kirby Olsen hits both. 
Nine points to lead all scores. Back to a three-point Logan lead at 23-20. Ryburn, Ruda, long jumper. Too hard, rebounded by Benny. Nyman quickly the other way. Pull up three off the front of the iron. Benyon keeps it alive, and it's Larson who feeds it back to Nyman, and Nyman's fouled, a non-shooting foul. If they give it to Ruda, it'll be his second. And that's who gets it. fouls on Jordan Ruda. And Benyon keeping it alive. Larson. At number 33, Russell Murphy. And then boom. Russell Murphy and Sadler back in for the Grizzlies. Ruta knocks this one out of bounds. And it stays here. Your SE Needham Jewelers middle of the block sign at the clock. Just under 2.30 to play. Three ball by Nyman, too hard. Shetler off to Ryberg who leaked out. He takes a long three. That one won't go. Buford with a rebound. That won't go, and now a rebound foul. Looks like somebody called on Sage Nyman. It'll be his second. As I mentioned a moment ago, he had our SC Needham Jewel in the middle of the block sign at the clock, and SC Needham Jewelers is your diamond engagement ring. Take a look at this one. Everybody kind of watched that one, thought it might bounce up. Great Buford misses, Checking and Nyman the gets the foul there. Reaching, reaching around. Vernier back in for Logan. Ryberg can't get the shots to go. Murphy, short. Buford with the board. Still 23-20 with two minutes left in the first half. Little underhanded scoop. By Buford, won't go. Cannon clears. And Nyman brings it up. 1.45 to play in the half. Three-point Logan Lee. Cannon stuck underneath his own backboard. Shot bothered there by Dilly. A quick shot on the other end, won't go. The lid on both baskets now. Things getting a little ragged here at the end of the first half. Buford pokes it away from Vernier. Nyman had to sit with two fouls. He and Kirby Olsen both with two. Devin Cannon on the floor with two. Sadler and Ruta working each other down low. Sadler leans in. The rim stops him, but nobody else does as he scores off his own miss. He's a load under there. 30-second timeout by Park City. No, they want a full timeout with under a minute to play here in the first half. Logan now extends their lead to 25-20. They've been outscored. Well, no, they haven't. They've outscored Park City 11-10 here in this period, and they're on a 7-2 run since the game was tied at 18. Watch Sadler go to work. One miss, one board, one put back. He's just trying to pad his stats. He knows what he's doing. Sadler with four off the bench for the Grizzlies. And this is a good time to remind you that Pier 49 Pizza is the place to get your pizza. They provide us with a variety of different pizzas set before each game. Our technical director is also our pizza coordinator, Gary Neuenschwander, a fine connoisseur of the pizza pie, and he uh, brings different kinds to us every week. I'll tell you what, just the right amount of toppings, lots of cheese, great crust, great sauce. There's nothing about those Pier 49 pizzas not to like. So whether you're uh, just hanging out and having a movie night, or watching the game, or just having a, a family night with the pizza, no, no one else to call but Pier 49 Pizza. Park 
City now finds themselves down by five. The one hand push shot from the baseline by Shetler won't go. And now the Grizzlies with 35 seconds to play in the half and a chance to widen the gap. Park City extending that defense. Twenty seconds to play. Logan looks like they are they are content to move it around. Look for the last shot. Oh, Larson nearly loses it out of bounds. Sadler. Six off the bench for Sadler, and he puts Logan up by seven. Then this one knocked away at the other end by Benyon. Checking in for Park City. Brian Shetler replaces Bray Dilly for Park City. Park City will have six Checking seconds for, Logan, Devin Cannon. for the last shot. Sadler will sit, Cannon comes in. He's on the floor with Benyon, Murphy, Larson and Vernier. Shetler finds Buford. New and Schwander, three, good! And that's the end of the first half. New and Schwander dials up the long ball. 27-23, Logan leading Park City at halftime. All right, Grizzlies, for your halftime entertainment, we have the Latinos in Action Club. their teeth are chipped or discolored or anything, I would highly recommend Lumineers to any of my friends. And so I talked to some people who had Lumineers, talked to them about the process. It, it, it indeed was painless. It was short. You know, it, it didn't take any great time out of their life. And the results were amazing. I mean, especially for some people that I've seen who had like chipped teeth or a lot of discoloration, totally changed their outlook and their perspective and how they felt about themselves. Well, on the floor right now, the Latinos in Action Club. Showing us some smooth dance moves. Let's take a look. I'd say they were cutting a rug, but it's a hardwood floor. So I guess they're sanding the floor. I don't know. Maybe they're going to give us another number here, but while we're waiting, take a look okay, at some of the fans, take a look at some of the first half stats. For the visiting Park City Miners, Heath Vincent played and started, did not score. John O'Shetler with two points, both from the free throw line. Brian Shetler, his brother. Eight points to lead the Miners. Five for Andrew Neuenschwander, including the long three ball. Right at the buzzer of the first half to make it a 27-23 ball game. Britton Buford with four. Jordan Ruda and Ry Bray Dilly played in the first half but did not score. Ryan Ryberg off the bench with four for Park City. They were eight of 10 from the free throw line. For the Logan Grizzlies. 27 points in that first half. Both teams scoring 13 points okay. in the second quarter. Sage Nyman with seven. All in the